Hey, what's up? Today we will talk about one of the main features of Cubit X20 Pro – camera. This budget fan has a triple camera on the back. Is it really good? Let's find out! Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers. So, the triple camera of Cubit X20 Pro has 12MP main sensor, 20MP sensor for depth effect and 8MP wide-angle lens. The front camera is 13MP. Talking about camera up, there are many shooting modes such as video, photo, beauty, face cute, bokeh, night, etc. There is the icon on the right side to choose the wide-angle mode. The settings menu has following options – picture size, shutter sound, face detection, video quality and many others. However, I didn't find image stabilization. It means that Cubot X20 Pro doesn't have electronic image stabilization. Ok, now let's look at real sample photos. You know, the photo quality depends on the lighting. Cubot X20 Pro makes really good images in a daytime with good lighting. You can take some good photos at night, for example, this one. However, if there are many street lights, then the picture will be overexposed. The smartphone has a night shooting mode, and it really improves the photo's quality. As for ultra-wide mode, I don't like it. Yeah, the photos are really wide-angle, but the quality is very poor. This is because wide-angle camera is only 8 megapixels. The video footage is good. They have natural colors and good details. However, Cubit X20 Pro doesn't have image stabilization, so the video is shaky. It is better to use gimbal. So, it was camera test of Cubot X20 Pro. In general, the camera of this phone is good. The photos in daylight and even in low light conditions are decent. However, the wide angle mode is disappointing. I don't think that you will use this mode because the image quality is very bad. What do you think about camera of Cubot X20 Pro? Write in comments below. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.